Each suicide is a personal tragedy that prematurely takes the life of an individual and has a continuing ripple effect affecting the lives of families, friends and communities. Every year more than 1 lakh people commit suicide in our country and there are various causes of suicides like professional or career problems, sense of isolation, abuse, violence, family problems, mental disorders, addiction to alcohol, financial loss and chronic pain. If we have a look at the data which was presented by NCRB, National Crime Records Bureau, then you can see the increasing rate of suicide. The increasing rate of suicide can be seen from 2016 to 2020. So there is a significant rise in the cases and the rate of suicide has also increased from 10.3% in 2016 to 11.3% in 2020. And if we have a look at the state-wise major percentage share of suicides in states during 2020, then the state which tops is the state of Maharashtra. It is having 13% and then Tamil Nadu for the Madhya Pradesh, West Bengal, Karnataka, Kerala, Telangana, Gujarat, Chhattisgarh, Andhra Pradesh, Odisha, Uttar Pradesh and then the other states and union territories contribute to 13.7% of the suicides. Further, analyzing the percentage share of various cases of suicides during 2020, then the major cause is family problems, thereafter comes illness and thereafter comes drug abuse or alcoholic addiction. Then after this comes marriage related issues, further love affairs, after this bankruptcy or indebtedness and then after this unemployment, then failure in examination, professional or career problems and for the poverty which is contributing to 1.2% of the percentage share of various causes of suicide during 2020. Now there was a famous case, death case of model Nafisa Joseph who died by suicide in Mumbai in 2004 and this has led to invention of anti-suicide ceiling fan rods and the man behind this is named as Sharad Ashani. So his device is helping save lives in a unique way and with his company Good Life, he has installed over 50,000 anti-suicide rods and ceiling fans across several hospitals, hotels, hostels, jails and government quarters in India. Now here are the words of Mr. Sharad. The first thing I did after reading Nafisa's case was stare at the fan. I wished the fan had fallen or that the dipata had loosened during the act. A few days later, I came across a similar case of a young girl. Incidentally, a month later, the National Crime Records Bureau, NCRB, released a report according to which there were 113,000 deaths by suicide. Of these, over 30% were due to hanging. As a part of his research, Sharad started noting NCRB statistics every year and realized that the number of people using fans to die was increasing and in 2020 almost 57% of suicides were by hanging, which is a sharp spike since 2004. And he also noted a spike in college and university hostels and for instance more than 48,000 students ended their lives between 2015 to 2019 which is a sharp increase from 38,000 between 2010 to 2014. Now talking about this particular fan, so on an average, the fan is fitted at a height of 7 to 8 feet. So he had, so he had come up with a mechanism in which the rod disengages itself from the fan via a spring and safely lands the person on the ground as you can see here in the picture and the mechanism comes into motion as soon as the fan exceeds the determined weight so the weight of any person will lead to the rod disengaging itself from the fan via a spring and safely lands the person on the ground so this invention is one of the significant invention in the history of India as it tries to save lives of people who die due to suicide and it will further contribute for the better India. So this is it about this video and thank you so much for watching.